Hey there, my Tyler Perry sisters fans. It's your girl, Barbie J here. About to give you her two cents about this trailer and the previews for episode nine, True Colors. Oh my, my, my. It looks like it got hot and heated up in that apartment. Ooh, I don't think Karen's apartment ever had that much activity since. Let's see, Zach and Aaron had that fight. Because even the letter reading wasn't that exciting. Well, honey, we got Karen jumping up and stepping to Fatima saying, Did you just walk into my house? And all the pandemonium just breaks out. Everybody jumps up. Sabrina pulls her back and Daddy gets in between them. And Fatima's like, What you going to do? I'm like, Oh, no, you didn't come bold like that. I said, all right. She carried her little pocketbook. I'm sure Karen's uh, gun is in her room. And we're like, what is going on? And Andy's trying to let Fatima know, look, girl, you just came up into her home. You can't just be doing that. But you see the scene. So Karen is behind, you know, Andy saying, Biatch, get out this da da da, you know, and they, like, and she's like, nah, I'm not leaving. Fatima's like, I'm not leaving till I get off, off, what's off my chest. Well, she want to say what she want to say to her. And everybody was throwing f bombs and b bombs and everything, and I was like, she was like, keep this ish up, and I'ma show you crazy. I said, oh snap, it's about to be on and popping. I was like, I can't wait, and I, I'm gonna be very disappointed, y'all. If this, what we saw, is not what we see next week. If Tyler just cut up half of that and made it something low-key, I'm going to be so upset with him. But you know that's how it happens sometimes. TP do us that way. But it was, um, you know, we're going to see how this goes down. But then I was saying, you know what? Before her walking up in there, she and Zach should have gone there. You know, when she said she was going to leave that door unlocked, Zach should have rolled up with Fatima, you know, and that way they could have addressed Karen's delusional behavior together and made it sure, you know, made her sure that this is what's going to happen. It's like, yeah, I'm here. And then when she starts smiling and then Fatima should have came in the door behind her, right? <laughs> that would have been hot. That would have been real hot. But anyway, it's funny how when Fatima accused Zach of kissing Karen that picture that time Zach went all crazy and she got mad at Zach for losing his mind going after Karen saying that she's blaming him and he's running around going acting like a madman but she can go out and address Karen when she's fed up and sick of her and there's nothing wrong with that y'all let me know how y'all feel about that down in the comment section then they show um Zach and Aaron outside uh outside of Karen's apartment and they're facing off about the baby daddy stuff and I'm sitting there going Aaron's like oh so you the baby's daddy and Zach is like look I'll find out when I'm ready to find out I ain't he ain't trying to go there right now with it he got other things going on with his other child you know but I'm like why are they both there did Zach actually did Zach find out later this is what I'm gonna predict Zach find out that Fatima left the house and said, oh, snap, we're Fatima. Fatima didn't tell him he, she was leaving and drove to Karen's house. So Zach probably ran and drove to Karen's house looking for Fatima, figuring that's where she was. That's what I'm going to put, put into the atmosphere. I don't think Zach drove her and let her walk up in there. I think somebody wrote something like that. I really don't believe that happened. But anyway, we see Zach and Aaron about to face off. And they write up on each other. And then Sabrina comes out and she separates them. And then she realizes, you know, I don't know where Zach goes after that. Maybe he gets Fatima and they go home. But she's talking to Aaron. Aaron's like, I really love Karen. I really love her. And, you know, but Sabrina's like, um, excuse me, have you been drinking? And he brushes it off as like, um, yeah, I only had one drink. And Sabrina reminds him, but dude, you're in recovery. And I'm sitting there going... How does Sabrina know he's in recovery? When did Karen tell them really anything about Aaron to know that he's in recovery? So that's another little slip up in the in the writing. That's what I'm going to say. But then you have uh, Sabrina coming back in the apartment asking Karen why she's sitting there with the door wide open. And Karen talking about, I'm waiting for her to come back. Talking about Fatima. 
Girl, you got neighbors coming through there. You don't need to be sitting there with a gun, pistol, whatever, in your hand, on your couch, like she gonna come back. You know for team of carriage too. Y'all both, what, is gonna be the shootout at the, at the OK Corral, girl? Stop being stupid. Close your door and lock it and leave it at that. You shouldn't have left it open in the first place because your ex reminded you you gonna let the wrong person in there. Didn't he try to tell her, y'all? Put it down in the comment section. He tried to tell Karen, lock that door. I'm not coming because you're going to let the wrong person in. And who walked in? Andy just walked on in. She didn't have to use the keys. Uh, Sabrina and Danny just walked on in. And she's sitting there going, what? I even did a short on it. I, mean, I did a short when he said, you're going to let the wrong person in. And all of them walked in while you waiting to get your, your coochie touched up by Zach. Which wasn't even happening, was it? It wasn't never going to happen. You were delusional. And then it shows um, Zach and Fatima. They're home now. So Zach must have went after her, like I'm saying. And they're home. And he's reminded her that Karen carries a gun. Uh, did you forget that Fatima carries one too? So so what's the what that mean to her? She crazy. She just as crazy as Karen. I don't know who's crazy. I would think Fatima was. Only because of who her, her cousin is. Madam. But anyway... But Fatima's like, I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her-ish. I'm tired of it. Blah, 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 blah. Because, yes, you are poaching my man. Yes, Zach is supposed to take care of it. And Zach thought he did take care of it. He's trying to take care of it. And she's not listening to him. If Karen is not listening to him and he's taking care of it, he ain't trying to get the, the, you know, the mother of his child locked up and arrested and, you know, in so much trouble, you know, that, um... He have to go to police route and do a, we call it an order protection over here or something like that. I know it's called different things in other states, but I mean, what is he supposed to do? That's why I was saying he should have walked over there with Fatima and they told her together. We thought it was clear at that letter reading, but delusional Karen is not here and they need to call Miss Lisa. That's what Zach need to do is call Miss Lisa and say, look. It's starting all over again. I'm trying. But maybe being addressed by, maybe she shouldn't have walked in the door. She could have knocked, I guess. But she knew it was going to be left open. So she could have peeped in and say, oh, Karen, Zachy's not coming. But I'm here in his place. Let me tell you something, biatch. You know, she could have poked her head in. She didn't have to walk all the way in. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. I don't know if that makes any sense. But... This is just my two cents. I want to hear what all of you have to say about that scene. Drop it in the comment section. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment right now. Hit that subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell and select all. Select all. And it'll let you know every time Barbie J uploads a new video. That way, because some of you told me y'all be missing it and y'all don't get the notifications. The other thing is, there is 67% of you who come to my channel. 67% who are not subscribers can you please subscribe you come here regularly and you don't subscribe help my channel grow i would appreciate it i can't do it without you i love all of you and i love going back and forth with the commenting and sharing and everything and hearing the different views you guys give me so much to think about and I got to tell y'all, this helps me get through all the issues I'm going through at home. All my health challenges and everything. You guys, by doing this and working with me, help me get through it. So for those of you who know you haven't subscribed, please take a moment. Hit that subscribe button. Help my channel grow. And I will see you all in the next video. It's your girl, Barbie J, saying peace.